Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Thursday. Oh, this one, not a good one. And I'm telling you, I don't think you're going to be very happy about this. Mr. Carl might have a lot, well, to own up to. Right now, it's anonymous. It's an anonymous tip to do more. But Summer House, Carl and Lindsay, they broke up. We're going to get into it, do all the YouTube things, smash the like button, show some love, and let's do the damn thing. It's time. For all your binge-worthy pop culture news, welcome to Up and Adam. Okay, guys, so I wanted to talk about this for a second because what the actual is potentially going on, hold on. I'm not, I'm not even being dramatic about this. It looks like I'm being dramatic, but I'm not being dramatic. I've had a lot of espresso. I have a f***ed up eye. They're saying stress and anxiety. It is what it is. I don't even know what it's like. And everybody's like, Adam, listen to your body. Stop. I get it, guys. But I love working. I can't lay in bed. Here we go. So this is what came out. And I wanted to hear what you guys have to say about it. Allegedly, it's coming out that Carl Radke was seeing someone else. And there was a pregnancy scare with said mistress. Um... Excuse me? What? So according to Dumois podcast, Carl had been seeing someone else and there was a pregnancy scare. This is all alleged and not confirmed. And the reason he waited until people couldn't bail out of the hotel was because of his paid partnership with the hotel. Also alleged. No, sir. You do not mean to tell me that your ass is running around here getting people pregnant while you are getting ready to get married to this woman who you're on a show with and all of your friends, the producers, Bravo, the network, everybody thinks that you're getting ready for this big shindig. You know, it's going to be on camera. It's holy matrimony. We're in love. All good. Happy. Blah, blah, blah. We had the bridal shower. You showed up. You surprised her. Mm. And then you're over here with some, did you just Tristan you tristan her ass. Well, we allegedly, we don't actually know. But my thing is, is if you did tristan her or any other, just this is like, if you have a girlfriend or a wife and you or a fiance and you go out and you have this fling and you get somebody else pregnant, whatever the case is, and then you try to do your best, especially when you're in the public eye to get away with it. Maybe I'm just jumping ahead of myself. This is still from Dumas. Sometimes Dumas is really, really right. And sometimes, okay, something could be wrong. This is giving me cause for pause, guys. All right. So now on top of that, Carl Radke, of course, we know that the split was reportedly a long time coming, at least for Carl. That's what they're saying. But nearly a week after sources confirmed the summer house couple had split, and as Lindsay refused to leave her New York City apartment, a new report is claiming Carl had been considering calling off their engagement after emotionally checking out of their relationship months ago before they were set to get married in Mexico. Lindsay was 100% blindsided by the engagement being called off, but it was a long time coming for Carl. That's what a source told us weekly. I also don't know. I'm not saying that you can't sometimes... Like, I'm not saying that you can't, I, I'm not a relationship expert, but sometimes I feel like you have to have some sense of like, are you getting cold feet? Are you feeling like you're really excited about getting married? Do you feel like you're not excited about getting married? What does this look like for you? Like you feel your partner out, but then also sometimes your partner's having a seven month affair with one of your co-stars and then boom, you have one of the biggest scandals on Bravo TV. So you don't always see the signs. And I think we obviously know that now. But as Summer House fans surely saw, multiple sources confirmed Carl and Lindsay's breakup last Thursday. Carl Radke and Lindsay Hubbard have called off their engagement. The two were set to get married in November. But Carl told Lindsay he couldn't move forward with the wedding. Yeah. Carl, maybe it's because you almost had another baby mama. Well, just a first baby mama, just a woman who could have been a baby mama, but also, I don't, is that, can you say baby mama? Is that derogatory? I don't mean it to be like that. I mean, like, 
another human being who you might have stepped out on your fiance with and might have accidentally um, got yourself into a situation. And that's not fair to either one of the women involved. Yeah, I think that's a way better way to word that. Now, anyways, back to it. So he wasn't in this relationship emotionally for a while is what the source explained. But meanwhile, the same source said that Lindsay is still trying to accept the end of the romance after being completely caught off guard by Carl's decision. Hmm. Lindsay is broken up and not in a great place. She's surrounded by her friends and her family, but this has been very rough is what the source said. And as we also talked about a little bit before, days ago, uh, Danielle Oliveira compared Carl's reported dumping of Lindsay to Mr. Big standing Carrie Bradshaw at the altar on Sex in the City. And another insider noted that while Lindsay hasn't been doing well since the split, her castmates have rallied around her for support. The women of Summer House are rallying behind Lindsay and showing support to her after Carl called off the engagement. And many of the women have reached out to Lindsay to send their condolences. And some have spent time with her. Obviously, Paige DeSorbo is not one of them. But some of the girls are set to film a scene with Lindsay soon. That came from Entertainment Tonight. Lindsay didn't see the breakup coming and she's completely devastated. But if you go back to the Dumas of it all, I just want to reread this to you one, one more time just so we can digest this for a second. According to Dumas podcast, Carl had been seeing someone else. Boom. Okay, so we're cheating. And there was a pregnancy scare. Boom. Okay, so we're cheating. And we potentially got somebody pregnant while you're about to publicly get married to one of your cast members slash fiance who was your girlfriend who you broke up with before but now you're back together but then you are also both called very fame hungry and now fans are left to wonder are you trying to manifest or create your own scandal at the end of the day mm. and the reason the reason he waited until people couldn't bail out of the hotel was because of his paid partnership with the hotel allegedly Again, I know it's Dumas. And I know sometimes it's a, okay, yeah, that obviously makes a lot of sense. And sometimes, no, maybe it doesn't make any sense at all. But my point here is, is that if in fact this is the case and this comes out, you, my friend, Carl Radke, are the villain in this story. Not Lindsay. Because I'm seeing reports from both sides. Lindsay emotionally abused Carl. He was so chill, relaxed, calm, and she was just an emotional vampire. Well, if she is picking up what you're putting down, Mr. Carl, and you're putting it all down out there with somebody else, then yeah, go on, emotional vampire, Lindsay. I don't blame her. I just went so gossipy on this and so opinionated and normally... I'm like, oh no, I want to know what you guys think. But this one for me, for some reason, I was just like, no, sir, you don't get to do that. Anyways, if you guys didn't, <laughs> if you guys didn't catch our Real Housewives of Orange County recap today, well then definitely go back. It was so much fun with Ricky Cornish. And also I had an incredible interview with Macy Bookout that will be premiering tomorrow. I will put it in the community tab. You guys asked questions. I incorporated the questions. So hopefully you guys enjoy it as much as I did. It's really nostalgic for me because it's been 11 years and she was my first interview ever. She got me my internship from Tennessee to LA. And I just think that she is an incredible human being. But do all the YouTube things. Smash the like button. Show some love. Go check out the second channel and go vote in the community polls. And we'll see you tomorrow for Hot Messy Topics. Love you.